Hey everybody, I'm Ben Bullen, and today's topic is dynamite. Dynamite is used in so many things. It's used in construction, it's used in mining, bank robberies, cartoonish acts of villainy. Wile E. Coyote, huge fan of dynamite. But the big question is, why does it explode? To answer this question, let's look at gasoline, because gasoline contains a lot of carbon and a lot of hydrogen. Now let's say, just for the sake of example, we had a big old bowl of gasoline. I, don't sweat the details, just assume, for some reason, we have a bowl of gasoline, we thought it would be a good idea. And then I also decided to ignite that. What happens there is that the oxygen, the hydrogen, and the carbon start a reaction, and then soon enough, boom, there's a fireball. But oxygen takes a little while to move into this reaction, so the explosion might not be that intense. Dynamite, however, has two things that could make it much more powerful. First, the chemical in dynamite already contains oxygen. This means that it doesn't have to draw oxygen in from the surrounding air. Second, and here's the kicker, dynamite contains lots of nitrogen, and nitrogen will react very quickly with a tremendous amount of force. Dynamite's not the only thing that contains nitrogen. TNT, nitroglycerin, uh, some of the fertilizers that you hear about mentioned in stories of truck bombs, these all have nitrogen and they use nitrogen to make these tremendous explosions. Spoiler alert, nitrogen is sort of the Kaiser Sose of dynamite, you know, it's, it's, it's the, uh, the power behind the curtain. So I hope this answers your question and we really appreciate your time watching. Let us know what you think. We'd love to hear your questions, comments, feedback, suggestions for upcoming episodes. You can leave them all right here in comments on our YouTube page. And if you're feeling generous, you can always subscribe. Eh?